The Red Wing Classic Mach is arguably the most popular American-made boot you can buy. And to be honest with you, this really has me scratching my head. Stick around to find out why. Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee, and today I'm giving my full review of the Red Wing Heritage 8849. What that is, is that's their classic mock toe boot and prairie black leather. This one comes in at $299.99, a penny shy of $300. And it has a style that dates all the way back to 1952. The black prairie leather is a full grained, oiled and waxed leather. And let me tell you, it is thick and it is stiff especially stiff right out of the box. The black color is only on the outside of the boots and it is offset by this heavy white stitching and it has this big white slab <laughs> of a crepe rubber sole. The uppers are Puritan triple stitched for durability using a machine that goes several decades back and this tongue is gusseted all the way up to the second eyelet and does a great job of keeping out dirt and debris. And these boots are unlined so you can feel the flesh side of the leather when you put your hand in there or put your foot in there and it comes with a thick um, veg tanned insole and that lays over a cork filling and these are 360 degree Goodyear welted. Now the sole may look kind of like a Vibram Christie, but it is not. It is Red Wing's very own traction tread sole. And this was designed for outdoor workers and sportsmen to be able to walk across like rough surfaces without catching their heel on something. The classic mocks run true to size, and that was definitely the case for me. Though I did notice that these actually kind of got roomier the more I wore them. And I really appreciated that. Now, one of the really cool things about buying a pair of these at a local Red Wing store is that they have a computer for measuring the size of your feet and that will help you get the most accurate fit. And when they're done measuring your feet and all that stuff, they email the results to you. It turns out that my left foot is actually longer and more narrow than my right foot. Now, I'm gonna go over the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Red Wing Classic Mach. But first, I just want to take a second to thank me <laughs> for today's video. You might not know this about me, but I actually write fantasy novels. <laughs> I know, kind of strange. But if you're into that sort of thing, I'll leave an Amazon link to my books below. All right, let's start with the good of the Classic Mach. Off the bat, I have to say that I really like the looks of these chunky heritage work boots. I might not be able to dress them up very much, but they sure look amazing with a pair of jeans. Now, I know that some people don't like the look of this wedge sole, but I actually like it a lot. It's laid back and it's casual, but it also pops. And the construction of these boots is pretty spot on, which is pretty impressive actually given that this leather is so thick and so stiff. And speaking of leather, yes, they do smell great. Hey, would you help me know that I'm not crazy? <laughs> Tap that like button if you like the smell of good leather. When it comes to durability, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that these things are tanks. Now, I'm not planning on cutting them in half. That's Rose Anvil's jobs. And I'm not planning on puncturing them with an awl to test them out. But if they're as durable as they feel, then these things should be able to take a beating. Now that I've been wearing these things for a few weeks, I can say that these boots are decently comfortable and they're becoming more so as they break in. I really like the fit on these boots and there's plenty of room for me to wiggle my toes in this big high sided boot. Like I mentioned before, as this footbed kind of conforms to my foot, and as I look at it, I can see a bit of an imprint of my foot in there. The boot does seem to feel a little bit roomier. My only hope really is that at this point that they don't become any more roomy than they've become so far. But hey, let's talk about the bad of the Red Wing Classic Mach. At the top of the video, I mentioned that I'm kind of scratching my head at the popularity of these boots. 
And I hope that saying that doesn't make me terribly unpopular. But the reason that I say that is because these boots are a very hard break in. Maybe that popularity is due to the nostalgia factor. I know that my dad had a pair just like these back in the 70s, and they do have a classic style to them, and they are tough as nails. But you have to earn every bit of comfort that these things eventually bring. Now, the worst part of the break-in for me was this rolled collar, and that rolled collar was scraping away at the skin above my ankles. At the end of my first day wearing these, I honestly couldn't wait to get them off because it hurt so bad. If you're thinking about getting a pair of classic mocks, I would highly recommend waiting until the weather is cool enough so that you can wear thick socks with them comfortably. Because you might need those socks to protect your skin while you wear them for the first few times. If you own these, can I ask you a question? How was your break-in? <laughs> can you let me know in the comments? The other thing in the bad column is that the classic mock does not have any speed hooks. See that? And I know that's a small complaint, but I do prefer the speed hooks over having to unlace the top couple of holes just to get my boots on or off. All right, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion. But if you're getting some value out of this, would you go ahead and tap that subscribe button? And that way you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Red Wing Classic Mock Toe Boot is a standout, cool looking, casual slash work boot that is super tough and rugged. You may love these boots, but that love is not gonna come easy because the break in on these is a bear. If you want to see more mock toe boot reviews, here's my mock toe playlist. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over the next video.